My name is Katrina Santner. I'm a program associate on the Summative Assessment Team, and I work with the states primarily to facilitate policy, policy making and decision making when it comes to implementing park summative assessment. So coming up for the summative assessments, right now, uh, PARC is rolling out a number of resources to the field, which include training modules as well as practice tests and student tutorials. Um, for the fall block administration, we've already made available an uh, online version of the fall block of the test administrator and test coordinator manuals, um, and those will be coming out later this year for the spring administration. Um, but in terms of what else to expect, uh, fall block will start in December and then the spring administration will start in February. Uh, the process has been actually a very collaborative one and I think we have tried our best to be very responsive to the lessons learned from the field test administration. So some of the biggest changes that I think we have made um, are, is that we've actually tried to customize the, the manual so that it is grade, grade level specific or grade band specific. So whereas in the field test we really had just a one size fits all test administrator manual. Uh, this year for the operational test in the spring, uh, we'll have different manuals based on the different grade levels. So that's, I think that's one important change. So the biggest difference between the fall block manuals and the manuals that are being developed for the spring administration is that uh, for fall block, it's really only for high school and it's only paper-based testing. So uh, if you are testing computer-based testing, you will really have to wait until our spring manuals are released later this year in order to receive the information specific to computer-based testing. The biggest advice I would give to schools that are gearing up for PARC would be to take advantage of all the resources that we have developed. Uh, those states have worked very hard to prepare schools and the districts with all the information that they would want to know about implementing the PARC test. Um, as well as resources related to Common Core. So even at the teacher level, what resources that they can use in the classroom. So um, one in particular that I would recommend, um, especially for lots of states who have not done computer-based testing, is to really take advantage of the tutorials and the practice tests that PARC has developed.